Hi, this is Logan with Nas, and today I'm going to show you the Fortress Power Evolt Max lithium battery. So this is a lithium iron phosphate battery from Fortress Power, the Evolt Max. It's rated for 18 and a half kilowatt hours of storage. This is kind of the new and improved version of their original Evolt battery. So a battery essentially stores excess energy during the day, often produced by solar, and holds that energy for use at nighttime or maybe a period with no solar or no grid. In this specific example, we're here at one of our customers' homes in Camp Verde, Arizona, about an hour or so away from Flagstaff. He has a Fortress Evolt Max battery installed with a Solark 15K inverter. It's a very common pairing. There's closed loop communication between the two components. In this example, the system is being used for a whole home battery backup system. We are not exporting or selling any power back to the local utility company. So in other words, when the grid goes down, this whole entire home operates off of solar or batteries until the grid resumes. Every load in the house on the 200 amp panel is able to receive power from the battery during the event of a grid outage. The Evolt Max battery from Fortress is rated for 18 and a half kilowatt hours of total storage. It can do continuous charging and discharging at about 180 amps, which is around nine kilowatts. And then it has a surge up to 250 amps, um, which is somewhere between 12 and 13 kilowatts it can provide as a maximum. Uh, this is a lithium iron phosphate battery, so non-volatile chemistry, maintenance-free, totally sealed. The BMS battery management system is fully integrated into the battery. That BMS is constantly monitoring the battery's surroundings and its performance and will shut the battery down or protect it if um, anything goes out of range. The BMS, in other words, is watching the voltage, the current, and the temperature of the battery and will uh, protect itself if any of our parameters exceed the safe operating range for the battery. So on the side of our Evolt Max battery, we've got a built-in touchscreen display and an on-off button. This is a really useful feature on the battery in that you can see exactly what voltage it's at, how many amps are coming in or going out, the state of charge percentage and the amount of energy that battery has supplied during a certain period of time. The screen will also give you an indicator as to any faults or errors that may be occurring in the battery. So up top here on the battery, we have the user access area or the wiring compartment. Um, it's a lockable space, but we can open it up and take a peek inside. Uh, not much to see here. We've got the DC positive and negative cables. There's a built-in circuit breaker, a 250 amp breaker and then our um, communications ports and parallel accessory ports. This battery comes with a 10-year warranty from Fortress Power, also has all the listings and certifications need, needed to get through your inspection to get your permit approved, including UL9540 and UL9540A. Uh, the Evolt Max also has closed loop compatibility with several inverter manufacturers. As we can see here, we've got one paired with the Solark, It'll also talk to Schneider Electric Equipment, Victron Energy Equipment, among others. So physically speaking, it is a fairly large battery. It's about 20 by 20, uh, just over 40 inches tall. It's quite heavy, it's 520 pounds. So transportation and installation, physically moving the battery from one place to another can be a consideration. Now, this is also a very, very flexible battery, uh, just like the Solark, in that we can have multiple units per system. Um, in this case, the minimum requirement for an Evolt Max and a Solark 15K is one to one. Uh, however, you can have up to 20 Evolt Max batteries in a single system working together, meaning that allows for a massive amount of energy, 370 kilowatt hours is how large the battery bank could be grown to. One consideration to make during the initial design process is related to expanding in the future. If you think you may need more storage at a later time, you can add more batteries to the existing unit. 
Uh, however, just keep in mind, it's an 18.5 kilowatt hour chunk. So if you needed just a little bit of additional storage past the first battery, you would still need to get another full size uh, E-Vault Max unit, uh, another 18.5 kilowatt hours of storage. So that's a consideration, especially when we look at the smaller battery model from Fortress, the E-Flex battery, which is only 5.4 kilowatt hours. Those are a little more modular if you were planning to start with a small battery bank and eventually add more batteries to it. So I really hope this video answered some questions on the E-Vault Max battery from Fortress Power and how this battery can be used in a real world installation. If you have any questions on the E-Vault Max battery or are curious about getting a system of your own, please give us a call, send us an email, and somebody in our sales and design team would be happy to assist. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out the Learning Center on our website for more information. Thank you for watching.